years ago, the Kurds, led by the ferocious Thor, conquered Damascus, forcing the Sultan Selim and his daughter Miriam to flee into exile in Al Kufra. Consumed by the desire to recover his kingdom, Selim looked with favor on the love match between his daughter and the young Prince Fira, son of the Sultan of Nisibi, whose powerful army was Selim's only hope of resuming his throne. Another two days march, princess. But before sundown, we should reach the frontiers. Where you'll find young Prince Thera waiting. Your wedding is going to be the most sumptuous the Orient has ever seen. Thank you, Safavidi. Oh. Damascus, I would deliver to him as hostage, Princess Miriam. Only bandits like you and your men are low enough to collaborate with the invaders. But remember this, my father Selim will return to Damascus and chase out the cords and then you'll be punished. Be careful how you talk to me. I am Ralik, chief of the Karagiti. <laughs> <laughs>
name is Safavidi. I'm chief of Selim's guards. <laughs> I was escorting Princess Miriam to Prince Fira at Nizibi. Miriam and Fira are to be married. But they kidnapped her. Her life's in danger. my king at Al Kufra. Tell him that Miriam was carried away by the Karagiti. I promise you he'll reward you handsomely. He's the person I was on my way to see. He sent for me secretly. He wanted my help in reconquering Damascus. Goliath, I should have known it could only be you. We've waited for such a long time. We'd almost stopped expecting you. <laughs> The wedding of Miriam and Fira was to cement the alliance between Selim and Saud against the Kurdish usurpers. Uh, the king hoped you'd arrive in time to escort the princess. I was in distant lands. Now let's go. Uh, no, I'm afraid I've lost too much blood. We'd never be able to reach Al Kufra. Go along. You're going to get there, my friend. get there, didn't I? I watched her right away with those Karagiti bandits, and she turned one last time to look at me. And Goliath crossed the desert on foot to bring me safely home, even after I had asked him to abandon me. It's obvious that the Kurds and the Karagiti have just made a pact. This stranger is, in my opinion, a little too well informed. We are greatly in his debt and must at least listen to him. Did you discover the secret hideout of the Karagiti? No. It would have been impossible for anyone to follow their tracks. The sandstorm covered them up. There's only one way to free your daughter, Selim. Someone will have to get into the Karagiti camp and be accepted as one of them. Miriam must be liberated immediately. I propose that we start negotiations with the Karagiti to learn what they demand as ransom. Kayak is right. We should act at once. The princess must be saved. Miriam has been kidnapped on orders from the Kurds. Apparently they think that with her as a hostage, they can wreck the alliance between you and Nisibi. Are these facts or are you just guessing? <sighs> the desert sun, I've heard, can cook a man's brain. Perhaps. But I seem to be hearing from the lips of a prime minister the stupidest words I've ever heard in my life. You dare! Goliath! I'm grateful to you for saving one of my best men. But that doesn't allow you to insult my ministers. I ask your pardon, Selim. You have it. 
Go and rest. You have no faith in that man? I have no faith in anyone. You are the monarch of Al Cooper? No, I just wanted to sit down. Hey, you! There's no use sitting down. There's nothing more to drink. <laughs> no offense intended. So you might as well leave. We don't like strangers here. To me, you are strangers.
Father. I can't believe that your friend Selim would go back in his word. Is it possible that he would have sent no one at all to the rendezvous? I have a premonition. Your imagination runs faster than your horse ever did. It's entirely possible that Selim has changed his mind about his daughter's future. And since he's my friend, I can't take issue with him on that score. In other words, Father, if the alliance falls through, you won't be unhappy. Why should I be? It was Selim, not us, who requested the alliance. When he was driven out of Damascus, his army was cut to pieces by the Kurds. Without the support of our troops, he hasn't a chance of retaking the city. Did you think I was happy over the prospect of sacrificing our magnificent army for a cause that doesn't concern us? The Kurds are installed in Damascus, and each day they grow more powerful. The chief floor is ambitious and unscrupulous. If you ever have to turn to him for help, may heaven protect you. Are these the words of my warrior son or of a lovesick boy? Please, try not to lose your temper. All I ask for is a small squad of cavalry to ride to Al Kufa and see Selim. I've already said no. And now I'm going to tell you for the last time. No! Then I'll tell you for the last time that I'm going anyway, and don't try to stop me! Impulsive young fellow, isn't he? I like to see that in him. It means he has his father's blood in his veins. Love has made him a rebel. And why not? The Princess Miriam is a woman who could set any man's heart on fire. <laughs> to the devil with Thor and his gold, you're worth more to me than money. <laughs> Rolick, a cord has arrived from Damascus. In the name of Thor, greetings, Rolick. You brought the gold? Is this Selim's daughter? Thor wants her alive and unharmed. Jesus, I found her. Where's the gold? My master Thor will hand it over to you personally. I am under orders to escort the princess to Damascus. Will nothing satisfy you, Kurds? Isn't it enough that you've stolen a kingdom? Thor isn't stupid. He knows this will destroy the alliance between your father and the Sultan of Nizibi. That alliance was only intended to check Thor. So the throne of Damascus is already beginning to tremble. That may be truer than you think. No doubt about it. She's the king's daughter. I'll go to Damascus. The city of Damascus is still full of men who are loyal to your father. Even though the Kurds killed thousands. I'm sorry to spoil your plan. But you're not going to spoil mine. Thor will bring the gold here himself, and only then will he get the princess. But I, I won't discuss it any further. Be thankful that I need money. Prince Fira, this is a hopeless undertaking. No one who's dared to venture into that territory has ever returned. And the men you persuaded to go with you are too few. I would have gone alone if they hadn't volunteered to go along with me. You're making your father very unhappy. able to sleep, Selim? I haven't really, and I apologize to you. All strangers are treated with suspicion here. Non capisco perché erano così ostili contro di me. Non preoccupartene. Ogni straniero è mal accolto qui. 
Ma parliamo piuttosto delle cose più serie. Io ti avevo mandato a chiamare in segreto per condurre il mio esercito. Ma prima voglio salvare mia figlia. Ad ogni costo. I sent word for you to come here secretly. Are you willing to join the ranks of the Karakiti to save my daughter? Forgive me, Goliath, for asking you to take such a terrible risk. If you can rescue my daughter, you may ask for anything that's in my power to give you. Even if she were the lowliest of slaves, I would do the same. However, before you accept, remember, Goliath, that to become a Karagita, you must submit to being branded. Here. If you refuse, you still go free. I accept. Fine. I'll say that you've escaped. If there's a traitor here, he won't be able to inform those bandits of our plans. Before daybreak, you'll find your cell open. And now, Goliath, look at this ring. A lion's head. You will see one like it on the hand of a man you must find in Damascus. He's one of the faithful. He will tell you how to get to the hideout in Karagiti. <laughs> to Damascus by the great gate that faces the desert, where the merchants gather in the sun to talk business the whole day through. Careful, Goliath. Keep a sharp lookout. When you reach the palace, mixing with my people, Spare a thought for me. Continue along that street. You'll find yourself in the marketplace. Cross it. Beside a white stairway, you'll find the emblem above a shop. There's a secret door. within speak these words greetings from the fountain of black fire 